What is going on, Guardians? And welcome to another video. <coughs> Alrighty. So, here we are on the beautiful map. Here. Alrighty. Twilight Cap. Okay. Coming in hot. The storm call. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Trust me, guys, this video is pretty awesome video. I got some awesome Twilight Gap spots to show you. Um, there's a lot of cool spots you can use, and I know that clip wasn't anything impressive, but it was still a fun triple kill with the storm caller. I did that multiple, multiple times. I only recorded it like once or twice, you know. It's always fun to get any type of triple kill. And here, I'm gonna show you, this isn't what you think it is. No, not, this isn't just another storm caller kill. This is actually a pretty interesting clip here. So yeah, you just saw that, like, I don't even know what just happened with him, first of all. I mean, he was just, like, glitched there. Now, I cut this clip. Watch, just watch. You saw the slam just go off and kill my, my teammates. And I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. I only caught that last second of it, but it was really just unbelievable how that slam, uh, you know, came in so late. I feel like that slam should have even killed me, but I just couldn't believe the amount of lag that guy was just lagging all game. And it was just ridiculous. And we got Envied Wrath coming in with a nice self-res to keep us in the game. Um, we were just about to lose, sadly. I mean, I did really well this weekend. Um, <clears throat> you know, with me and my teammates and stuff, we did pretty well. I'm on an 18 win streak right now, my Titan. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, and yeah, I wanted to show you guys. Look at that window spot. If you weren't aware, you can jump into this window. So I thought this was pretty good. I don't think everybody knows about it. It can be difficult to get into it sometimes, but check this out. You saw me jump in there, jump back in there, and just look. Pretty effective. I really, I bet that guy didn't know about it. He saw me in the window, I bet, but he didn't know that that was a possible thing. Now, if you look at this spot right here, this is another dirty spot, and I put it to some good use here. And I would just highly recommend that you guys use it. Um, like, when I crouch right there, it's like I feel very safe. As weird as that sounds, like from shotgunners and everything, most people just really don't expect you to be right there. So, you know, it's such a nice spot. As you can see, I'm just putting it to use right here. And it was just worked really well for me. Um, great thought to also grab headshots right there in the center. If you have this, uh, you know, the sniper life out. Obviously, I know the big tip for this map here is to use the uni sniper. Now, I know that sounds a newbie. But just gotta do it. Unfortunately, it's in the game. You gotta use what the game provides you with, right? So, as you can see here, um, we're on that 4-4. Really close game here. I got a little nervous, but I popped the headshot and ended up pulling out the win. So that was a pretty epic one right there. Um, just a pretty sweet... We were on a huge comeback, and then I was in that sticky situation. I pulled out of it. Um, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the greatest, but it was still pretty sweet to me. So we're on a huge comeback, and I made it happen. Alrighty. Um, there's a lot of spots that people don't know about this map. For instance, that window. Those windows, some people don't even know about those windows in the first place. Then you, there's the whole thing of sniping inside uh, that room to outside. It can be very effective also, so don't forget to try that. Um, and yeah, just those windows are awesome. Oh, there's also a spot outside. Um... I'll try and show you it throughout this video, if I uh, if I get another angle on it. it. I'll just describe it to you, it's when you spawn outside to the right, there's a tree. You can literally stand on top of that tree and stand across the map. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's a difficult jump, sure, but if you're good and you can just hop into it, because I've already had a few times where I just hopped into it no problem and, you know, done my thing. But actually, yes, I can show you it, actually, I take that back completely. I'm going to actually put it in this video, it is in this video. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely for sure show you that. And I'm going to show you how I found out about this spot, all right? Because I didn't find out about these things on my own. Um, I had, That storm caller you witnessed, that was me discovering that you could stand on that window from the outside. Now, that might not be the biggest deal to some people, but it's a pretty crazy spot because this game doesn't really have too many spots like that. Like they do, but just not many. And then I'm coming in on a 1v3 clutch. That was a pretty sticky situation, but I pulled it out. And I'm absolutely loving the longbow. Not the not the god roll longbow. But it's got a short gaze. Which is a decent scope. Um, I think there's the long view SLR 10. That is an awesome scope. Also one of my favorite scopes. I wouldn't mind having that scope. I haven't really been able to use it too much lately. Because I don't really have it on any of my guns. But I really do like the scope. And I'd love to get a roll on that for my longbow. Or even a thousand yard. But I would prefer the longbow. 
Um, um, now, I'm not sure if this is the game or not, but we loaded in and we got a free win. We didn't get any losses. We're loading into the game. We get a free win. And the other team, like, we're loading into the game and it shows our Crucible rank and our faction ranks rank up on the side. And, um the glimmer and stuff like that so it shows that we got a win i look on the tracker i mean on my destiny track my freaking destiny card i got the win on the card we load into the game the other team didn't leave or anything so we don't know how we just randomly were awarded a win um so the game starts and we're playing the guys pretty much um i'm not sure if these are the guys if i'm not mistaken these guys randomly leave i kind of just spoiled it but yeah these guys just leave and just watch it's actually I, I feel like these guys were really trying and then they just got super pissed we were actually hitting some pretty epic plays this round and if i could give you another tip and trials don't be the guy to complain after every game or during every death time you die it's annoying and people don't want to play with you honestly it's hard to focus playing with people like you and that's not the right mindset to have you need to have a chill mindset and look at this angle right here maybe they quit because of this angle right here <laughs> God. I was actually so fucking happy about that guys. Boom! Yeah, that was delayed, I know, but I just had to throw it in there anyway, because that is such an epic angle. I know he was low and everything, but the angle was beautiful, and that's a great reason for you to want look at this guy. Maybe that's why they quit, because of that guy. Maybe something crazy happened. I hope nothing bad happened on their end, you know. i see one of them just left there. And I just hope everything's cool with them. <clears throat> I remember when I was uh, one of these games this weekend, I was I was pressing my trigger down and it would only go down about three-fourths of the way and I, it randomly happened and I was like, what is up with this? Is this going to affect my gameplay? As you can see, they're all gone there. And I thought that was pretty crazy, but so I was like, what do I do? Mid-game, I grab a screwdriver, pop off the back panel on my controller. Mind you, I'm wasting all my sniper and shotgun ammo because I'm pressing the right trigger trying to see if it would work. Um, I'm sure I could have paused it or whatever, but I wasn't thinking at the time. I'm just trying to get my controller to work properly. And so, pop off the back panel, and I, like, shake it and break it around, like, just hit it around a bit. And I guess there's, like, a little plastic piece on the inside of my controller that got stuck in there. And it was, like, the worst game for it to happen, too, because it was against these really good teams. So, that ended up happening, and, uh, I did get the piece out from under the trigger, but I feel it's still in my controller. I couldn't. I don't know. I didn't try hard enough to get it out. I guess I just hope it doesn't get stuck in there again. But yeah, that would really stink if it did. Um, yeah, this that tree I was talking about is off to the right here. Now this is just another epic play, my friends, to throw in. Now just wait. The suspense is real. Now I'm sure you can already guess what's gonna happen. Make your prediction now and see if you were right. You know what I mean? So watch. Predicted it. I've hit him. Oh, and that was just really a beautiful thing. My combo, I believe, hit all three of them. Definitely two. But I didn't really look too hard to see if it hit all three. But I definitely got two of them. And it was just really beautiful. <clears throat> As you can see, there were two in C room. And they took me down. But that's alright. Playing with a couple good players here. Now we're going to check this one out. For the record, it's 4-2, to two, and this would have been for the win. We would have just been 4-3, to three, but check this one out. Last second, slam after shock, and we tie up the round. And that was a pretty epic moment when it happened. I'm sure you could have just imagined us all cheering when it happened. And it was just ridiculous. I'm sure if you guys were like, oh, you know what I mean? So that's really what happened there. And it uh, looks like we got them in the Wombo Combo Room. Now, check it out. The Wombo Combo Room. Why is it called that? If you didn't know, that's that's what we call it. And this is really just simple stuff. You guys will call me a noob for using the uni. But, I mean, who cares? If I can drop triple kills like that... And I don't main my Hunter. I main my Warlock, for the most part. I am starting to like my Hunter more. You know, uh, double smokes is pretty OP. But... So is a lot of stuff in this game, and most people use at least one of the OP things in the game. And I mean, regardless if it's OP or not, it's in the game, so you can't really complain about it. I'm, if it's in the game and I'm using it, I mean, and you complain, well, that's things for you. You're dying. I'm killing you. You know what I mean? Who cares if I'm skilled or, or not skilled? Because if everybody was using the most OP stuff in the game, then it would come down to skill. Now, wouldn't it? You know, so as you can see here, this is the tree spot I was talking about. And these two guys both subscribed to me. I truly appreciate you guys. 
if you were watching this, you guys are both awesome. And send me a message on Xbox. I'll try my best to get back to you. And yeah, check out this awesome spot that they showed me. Um, <clears throat> some of you players might already know about that, but if you can spawn up, jump straight to the top of that tree, you can actually see straight across the map, and it's pretty beautiful. Um, uh huh. Yeah, like you can literally see straight all the way across the map and pop all the snipes. Um, it's pretty beautiful. All right, and we're in the Wombo Combo Room here, as you can see. Got one down. Alrighty. To pop up, get one. Drop two. Get the triple kill once again, just to throw it in there. It wasn't even the greatest, but I figured I would just throw it in there. Why not? Alrighty. So, yeah, I mean, I hope this video helped you. I mean, there's a few spots that I could have showed you that I didn't. Like, if you go to that bridge on the side and jump up on the railing, you can see all the way across the map. The bridge on the outside. And if you spawn on the inside, there's, like... You just really, if you can snipe, you want to snipe on this side of the map. And if you can shotgun, you want to shotgun on the inside of the map. That's pretty much it. I love you all, and stay blessed.